a new chapter. The chapter name is that income from business and professions. Okay, you have already studied the five heads of income test. In that, so in the third head is that income from business and professions. In last class, I already explained the theory part, isn't it? We have studied uh, the business format, professions, and the meanings, everything, and the percentage. You have studied everything. Now, once again, I will revise the business format. Okay, so just for revision. Okay, so income from business. The format is about business. So, as you see, the in question they will give like uh, some individual person's name. So you should write here as you see. And in question they will give some status that is a resident. So you should write your resident. Then you should mention the previous year and the assessment year. That is very very important. So previous year means 20, 20 to 21. And assessment here is 21 to 22. So this this part is very very important. Which is the assessment access e, uh, uh, sorry what is that access e, status previous year assessment here this is very very important then you should then you should have the particular and two amount column first one is net profit and loss per PNL account okay you should see in a balance sheet which is a profit and loss account okay after that add First one is inadmissible expenses debited to PNL account. You should see the question which are the inadmissible expenses that is debited to PNL account. Okay, and you should write. Okay, next one is business income not credited to PNL account. So your business ex expenses debited to. Yeah, the question gives the business. Sorry, in. Inadmissible expenses debited to PNL account and business income not credited to PNL account. Okay, you should see and which are the business incomes not credited to PNL account. You should question and based on the question you write here. Okay, and write it among column. Next one is overvaluation of opening stock. You should see the opening stock of overvaluation. Next one is under valuation of closing stock okay so your over valuation of opening stock next one is under valuation of closing stock next one is notional losses what are the losses cost you should write here okay then you add it this amount you write outer amount then you add this finally you will get some certain amount okay after that less Admissible expenses not debited to PNL account. So here, here they mention inadmissible expenses. In last year, admissible expenses not debited to PNL account. Next one is tax free incomes credited to PNL account. Okay. Next, non business income credited to PNL account. Under valuation of opening stock, here, here they mention under valuation of close. Sorry, here they mention over valuation of opening stock. Okay, in 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 add column, in minus column they has given under valuation. Here over valuation, here under valuation of opening stock. Next, here in less part over valuation of closing stock. Over valuation of closing stock but here they mention under in add okay under valuation of closing stock ulta palta okay there's notional gains that you should write and you minus from the uh, what is the add column and minus it you will get final answer that is a taxable income from business so this is a format of business so the question they will use so based on the based on the question you use you should use this format okay this format is very very important and you have some depreciation rules that is important i will explain the depreciation rules so this this format i already explained in theory part 
but also once again i will revise then we we'll let's go to a problem without format you can't do any problem next one is depreciation part this is very very important depreciation rules okay so first point is if depreciation amount is given if 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 depreciation amount is given in the pnl account i adjustment so what you will write your pnl account that it should be add okay and your adjustment what you should do you should do minus okay next second point is if depreciation amount is given in only pnl account i is not given in adjustment so you should not do any entry no entry you should not write anything okay next third point is if depreciation amount is not given in pnl account and given only in adjustment so what you should write here adjustment that is you should do less okay you should do less so these three depreciation rules you should follow so depreciation rules first depreciation if depreciation amount is given in pnl account in pnl account if depreciation is given so and the adjustment is given so pnl account you should add and in adjustment column you should do minus okay so this is the difference if the pnl is given in the pnl account and adjustment in in pnl account you should add and in adjustment you should be minus it okay next second depreciation if depreciation amount is given in only profit and loss account i not given in adjustment so you should not write anything if the adjustment is given then you should do plus and minus in pnl account you should do plus and in adjustment column you should do minus but if the pnl account is not given Uh, okay if if pnl account is given i not given in the adjustment one so you should not try anything pnl account also you should not try adjustment column also you should not try so second point is also clear next one is if depreciation amount is not given in pnl account i given only in adjustment column so you should do adjustment you should do minus okay so this is a thing you should do okay so you see here in pnl account is given huh? and adjustment column is not given then it is no entry that is an exempted and here if the pnl account is not given and and given only in the adjustment means then you should minus okay
problem 1 mr dhoni is the owner of the business his profits and loss account for the year ending 31st 3 2020 was as follows okay so they has given two columns one is debited column and credited column so in debit column two salaries 5000 rent rate and taxes 2900 printing and stationery 750 personal expenses 3000 commission 2000 discount allowed 450 provision for bad debts 1200 postage and telegram 270 legal expenses 450 advertisement 1550 gifts and presents 150 fire insurance premium on stock 500 sales tax 1250 repairs and renewals non business 480 loss on sale of machinery 1800 life insurance premium 1700 wealth tax 730 interest on capital 740 audit fees 300 interest on bank loan that is 1380 provision for depreciation 2500 next interest of for income tax that is 3900 and net profit is 43000 next in credit column by gross profit 55000 interest on investment 5000 rent received 6000 winning from lottery is 10000 so this is a, a, and final total last total amount is um, debit account as well as credit account last amount is 76000 so this is the question and you have some additional information based on additional information we should do we should calculate okay so other informations so actual bad debts were 500 during previous year actual amount of income tax paid during the year rupees 4000 allowable depreciation as per income tax rule is rupees 1500 advertisement expenses includes 450 spent on special advertisement Compared to open a new stock, rent rates and taxes includes rupees 960 paid as rent for the property during the year. So compute profits and gains of business for the assessment year 2021 to 22. So this is the question they has given questions and they has mentioned the additional. Uh, information so based on these questions we should calculate so problem number one that is it we are going to calculate the business profession later we will do so first we should write heading computation of taxable income from business previous year and the assessment year so 2020 to 2021 2021 to 2022 and who is the accessy it's a Mr. Dhoni. After that status. is a resident. Okay. Then particular. And the amount column. So, first format we should find out the net profit for the uh, during the year that is 2021 to 
2020 to 21. So we should see the question. So your net profit last how much they has given? 43,000. So you should write here. Net profit during the year 2020-21 that is 43,000. After that next step is that we should see inadvisable expenses allowed in P&L account. What are the inadvisable expenses? Okay, let's go through it. Inadvisable expenses. In question, first one is they has given depreciation for income, depreci provision for depreciation that is 2500 and one more is the provision for bad debts, personal expenses, repays and renewal that is non-business, loss on sale of missionary, life insurance premium, wealth tax, interest on capital, this all comes under inadvisable expenses allowed in p and account. Okay, we should write. Okay, that is right here in admissible. In admissible expenses allowed in p and account. So, which are the things? you noted first one is provision so right here provision for depreciation that is profit and loss account how much 2500 next point is personal loan Sorry, personal expenses that is 3000. Next one is provision for bad debt. 1200. Next, next point is repays. And renewal four eighty. Next loss on sale of machinery. How much you will get? Thousand eight hundred. Next, life insurance premium that is 1700. Next, wealth tax 730. Interest on capital seven forty. After that, provision provision for income tax. 3900 okay this all comes under inadmissible expenses allowed in p and l account okay this uh, all comes under this in provision for depreciation personal expenses yes repays and renewables loss on sales of missionary life insurance premium Wealth tax, interest on capital, provision for income tax. This all comes under inadmissible expenses allowed to p and account. After that, inadmissible expenses. 
So here, yeah, next one is admissible, admissible income not credited in the account. So here yeah, in question they did not mention any uh, income is not credited in PNL account. Okay, so you put here nil. Okay, and finally you add how much you will get. So add how much you will get. That is 43, 2500 plus 3000 plus 1200 plus 1800 plus 1700 plus 3 sorry 730 plus 740 plus 3900 plus 43000 so you will get 59050 okay so last amount you will get 59,050. So in question they have mentioned the profit, profit during the year that is 43,000. Next they mentioned the admissible expenses. So only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So they have given 9 inadmissible expenses and you should write the amount column. And in question, they did not mention any admissible incomes not credited to PNL account. So, you should write here nil. After calculating everything, you will get 59,050. Okay, so this is the comes under inadmissible expenses and admissible expenses not credited. You should add. Okay, next one is, next format is that. Admissible expenses not allowed in PNL account. Here, allowed in PNL account. Next step is that not allowed in PNL account. So here there is no space. I will drop this one. I will drop whole because there is no space. Next one is your less continuation part. Okay. You have no space. So I have run. So your admissible expenses not allowed in PNL account. Okay. So in question in adjustment column they have mentioned the bad debts. And allowable depreciation adjustment. So you should write here. So actual bad debts. That is 500. Next one is allowable depreciation. That is adjusted 1500. After that, you should include inadmissible expenses credited to PNL account. In credit side, you see the credit side in question, you see the credit side. That is interest on securities, rent received, winning from lottery. This all comes under inadmissible expenses credited to PNL account. Okay, so your inadmissible Incomes credited to PNL account. So that first one is first point is interest on capital that is five thousand. 
second one is rent, receive 6,000. Third one is winning from lottery. That is 10,000. Okay. You added this one. Five hundred plus thousand five hundred plus five thousand plus six thousand plus ten thousand plus minus minus fifteen thousand. You will get the final answer that is. Thirty-six thousand fifty. That is a taxable income from business. Okay, how we will get the last that uh, add so that add answer how much you will get. Fifty-nine thousand fifty minus minus so one five hundred plus thousand five hundred plus five thousand plus nine thousand plus ten thousand so minus twenty-three thousand you will get thirty-six thousand fifty. So this is a taxable total income. Okay, because there is no space, so I removed and I wrote here that is less admissible expenses. You should try say for what is it? You should write in the same format way. You have no space, so I wrap that half of the part and I wrote here half of the part here. Okay, so you should know very well. So in admissible expenses, creditor in credit side, you you will get the interest on capital, then rent received money from lottery, okay? Then allowable depreciation it comes under adjustment. Other information is there, you no? Know, it will come. So you should take that value. Then actual bad debts that is five thousand five hundred. Everything you add and final the previous amount minus. Recent amount that is twenty three thousand minus the taxable income from business. The last answer you will get thirty six thousand fifty. Okay. Two. Mr. Ramesh is the owner of a business. His P&L account for the year 31-3-2019 is as follows. Compute income from business. So, they have mentioned two particular columns that is debit and credit side. Okay. So, let's read out the debit side. To rank 60,000. To establishment charges 50,000. To general charges twenty thousand, to household expenses six thousand five hundred, to commission thousand five hundred, to reserve for bad debts five thousand, to advertisement ten thousand, to repairs house property fifteen thousand, to income tax twenty thousand, to depreciation ten thousand. To net profit that is four lakh two thousand. Now credit credit side by gross profits five lakh fifteen thousand. By interest on government securities twenty five thousand. By rent from house property twenty five thousand. So both the side the total amount is six lakh. Next one is adjustment. Actual bad debts amount to rupees two thousand. Second one is depreciation for the year 
announced to rupees 6000 so this is a question let's solve a problem so problem number 2 so first one is assessment year previous year and the assessment year so the previous year is 2020 to 21 2021 to 22 next one is x okay next one is u right here competition of competition of taxable income from business so axis e that is mr ramesh status it's a resident right particular amount column particulars and the amount column so next one is we should add the net profit has per pnl account in pnl account how much they has given 4 lakh 2000 so you should write net profit has per pnl account is 4 lakh 2000 next one is add first point is inadmissible expenses debited to in pnl account so first point is first point is household expenses house hold expenses that is Six thousand five hundred. Second point is reserve for bad debts. That is rupees five thousand. So right here reserve for bad debts. That is five thousand. Next one is repays house property. Rupees fifteen thousand. Repairs house property fifteen thousand. Next one is income tax is rupees twenty thousand. Income. Tax is rupees twenty thousand. Fifth point is depreciation. Amount is ten thousand. So depreciation ten thousand. Okay. Then next step is second point number two. That is business income. Business. income not credited to in pnl account so the question they did not mention so just you put nil okay next point number 3 over valuation based on the format we will write okay so over valuation of opening stock the 
question they did not mention any opening stock so you put nil next fourth point is under valuation of closing stock so question is nil okay and fifth one is notional losses there is no any losses so you will keep nil okay so in first hmm, first format is over that is inadmissible expenses debited to pnl account so there are so many in inadmissible expenses so that is household expenses 6500 next reserve for bank bad debts that is 5000 next repairs house property that is 15000 income tax 20000 depreciation 10000 so this and all comes under in question so we will we will make into a one form that is inadmissible expenses next one is business not business income not credited into a pnl account it's a nil because the question they do not put any amount value so you should put nil next over valuation of opening stock you should write nil next under valuation of closing stock nil next notional losses any losses comes means you can write if not then you write nil okay so then you add this amount okay You add this amount that is six thousand five hundred plus five thousand plus fifteen thousand plus twenty thousand plus ten thousand. You will get fifty six thousand five hundred. Okay. So finally, you will get fifty six thousand five hundred. So after that. you should calculate the less admissible expenses not debited to in pnl account okay i'll write here less admissible expenses not debited in pnl account that is first point is bad debt question they has given 2000 isn't it yeah we will write here 2000 next one is depreciation for the year that is 6000 and next second this is first point and in second point in less part that is non business or tax free income credited in pnl account you have the things that is interest on government security it's a tax free okay next rest from house property the two amount is 25000 and 25000 <coughs> we will write here so non business or tax free income credited in pnl account so i write here because there is no space so interest on government securities that is tax free 25000 next i will wrap here because here there is no space i will wrap this part after that rest from house property right here 
ですね。OK。They did not mention, but we will write here and we can put ne. Okay. So here over valuation of closing stock. Ne. Next fourth point is under valuation of. Opening stop. That also nil. Then fifth point is notional profits. Okay, that also nil. And you had this which one? Twenty. Sorry, two thousand, six thousand, twenty-five thousand, twenty-five thousand. How much you will get? Just you see it. Two thousand, six thousand, twenty-five thousand, twenty-five thousand. You will get fifty-eight thousand. You write here fifty-eight thousand. Okay. Then after that, you should calculate the taxable total total. Total income from business. So you should take the this value that is so you should minus it. Okay, from four lakh two thousand four lakh two thousand plus fifty six thousand sorry fifty six thousand five hundred minus. Fifty-eight thousand. So you will get four lakh five hundred. Four lakh five hundred. That is a taxable income from business. Okay, so the total value you will get amount that is four lakh five hundred. So as per the question, they have mentioned the inadmissible expenses debited. You have five points. One is household expenses, reserve for bad debts, repairs house property, income tax, and depreciation. Okay, and Your business income not credited to fee under the account. It's a nil, so you no need to write anything. Over valuation also it's nil. Under valuation also nil. And notional losses there is no any losses, so nil. Next one is admissible expenses not debited to fee under the account. There is only two expenses. One is bad debts two thousand and bad depreciation for the year six thousand and non business. Or tax-free incomes credited to PNL account. That is interest on government securities. It's a tax-free. The amount is twenty-five thousand. Next one is rest of house property. The amount is twenty-five thousand. Next third point is your overvaluation of closing stock. The question they did not mention any overvaluation. Next one is undervaluation of opening stock. In question they did not give. So you should try. Nil. Next one is notional profit. They do not. They there is any nothing profit. So you should keep nil. And finally, you add this answer. You will get fifty eight thousand. And this value, this value you add minus fifty eight thousand. So you will get the taxable income from business that is four lakh five hundred. Okay. Third problem: Compute 
income from business of Mr. J for the assessment year 2019-20. So P and R has on 31-3-2019. So they have mentioned two uh, particulars that is debit and credit. Okay. So let's read on to credit debit side. Two office expenses 40,000. Two general expenses 16,000. Two interest on bank loan, it's 4,000. Two audit fees, 4,000. Two interest on capital, 12,000. Two rent is 20,000. Two income tax, 16,000. Two charity, 8,000. Two legal expenses, 4,000. Two compensations to remuneration employee, 20,000. To extension of building 20,000. So, final the net profit is 5,36,000. Next in credit column, by gross profits 6,40,000, by interest on government securities 11,000, by discount received 16,000, by bad debts recovered, that is not written of early year 800, sundry receipt 16,000, sun by dividend is rupees 16,000. So, total amount per column is 7 lakh in debit side, in credit side also 7 lakh. So, let's solve a problem. So, problem number 3. So, your computation of computation of taxable income from business. So, your access C. Who is the access C? Mr. J. And status, it's a resident. Next, previous year and the assessment here. So, year 2020 to 21, 2021 to 22. Okay, that particular And amount column. So your net profit has for the P and L account is rupees five lakh thirty six thousand. Right here, net profit. As per profit and loss account is rupees five lakh thirty six thousand. Next, add in admissible expenses debited to P and L account. So, first point is they mention interest on capital that is 12,000 right here. Interest on capital 12,000. Next one is income tax is rupees 16,000. So, your right income tax rupees 16,000. Next, charity. They has given 8,000. So, right here, charity 8,000. Next, fourth point is building. They have mentioned 20,000 right here. 20,000. 
Next one is point two. Business income not credited to PNL account. It's a nil. So your business income not credited to PNL account. That is nil. Next one is point number three. Over valuation of opening stock in question they did not mention. So you should write nil. Over valuation of opening stock. Nil. Fourth point is. Under valuation of closing stock in question, they did not do any closing stock, so you should try nil. Under valuation of closing stock, it's nil. And fifth point is. National notional losses, so it's also nil. Okay, after that you add this three. Sorry, this four. Okay, so twelve thousand, twelve thousand plus sixteen thousand plus eight thousand plus twenty thousand. You will get fifty six thousand. You write here. Fifty six thousand, and you add this value and write here that is five lakh thirty six thousand plus fifty six thousand. You will get five lakh right here five lakh ninety two thousand. Okay, so this add part is over. So first section is over. The second section is that is less. Admissible plus admissible expenses debited to PNL account. Okay, so that is also nil, right? Nil. Next second point is non-business and tax-free income credited to PNL account. Okay, that you have amount value right here. Non business and tax free income credited in P and L account that you write nil. Next one is interest on government securities. Write your securities. That is eleven thousand two hundred. Okay. Next one is bad debts. Bad debts recovered. This allowed. Earlier, that is tax free. The amount is eight thousand. Right here, eight thousand. Sorry, not eight thousand. It's eight hundred. Okay, eight hundred. Next one is dividend. Right here, sixteen thousand. Okay, next one is third point is over valuation of closing stock. It's nil. The question they did not mention any over valuation of closing stock. So over valuation of closing stock. 
nil. Fourth point is under valuation of opening stock. This also nil. Next fifth point is notional profit that also nil. And the last that is taxable total income from business. Taxable income from business. So let's calculate how much it is. So now we can calculate 11,200 plus 800 plus 16,000. Let's see how much we'll get value. 11,200 plus 800 plus 16,000. You will get 28,000. Right here, 28,000. Okay. Then, 592,000 minus 28,000. 592,000 minus 28,000. So you will get the answer 5,64,000. So finally the taxable income from business you will get 5,64,000. So, one second I will repeat. Well, so, here the question mentioned the net profit has per the p and l account. The, uh, uh, that is answer is 5,36,000. Next, they have mentioned and inadmissible expenses. You have four expenses. So, first one is interest on capital. That is 12,000. Next one is income tax. That is 16,000. Next, charity. 8,000 buildings 20,000 you will add this you will get answer is 56,000 next business not so business income not credited to p and l account it's a nil next overvaluation of opening stock it's a nil next one is undervaluation of closing stock nil so notional losses it's a nil so you will add that is 5,36,000 mm -hmm. plus 56,000 you will get 5,92,000. After that you will minus the admissible expenses debited to PNL account. So your non-business and tax-free income credited to PNL account that is interest on government security is 11,200. Next, bad debts is recovered earlier, that is 800. Next, dividend, it's 16,000. Next, overvaluation of closing stock, nil. Undervaluation of closing stock, nil. Because the question they did not give it. They did not mention as notional profit also, nil. So, after that, 592,000 minus 28,000, the taxable income from business, the last final answer is 564,000.